as promised, I am going to now start breaking down the Electrolux series of laundry. Tonight we're going to focus on the entry level models, the 50, what I like to call the 50 and the 55. Um, the 50, as um, you know, I feel like there needs to be some uh, clarity focused on this particular model because I think that it has suffered from some misconceptions. Electrolux 50 series is not a piece of Frigidaire laundry. It really has nothing to do with the Frigidaire laundry. Um, it is not made on the Frigidaire assembly line. It is absolutely part of the Electrolux laundry line. And um, it has shared bloodlines. It has brothers and sisters, the 55s, the 60s, and the 70s. And the thing that is very surprising to most people when this is actually articulated to them um, and is not done so by a guy that's trying to um, hide behind a spiff, it's that the 50 has, the fundamentals of the 50 are almost identical all the way up the line to the 70. Here are a few other features that the 50 has that it shares with the rest of the line. It has a stainless steel drum. Beautiful. In the washer, does not in the dryer. We'll get into that in a second. Um, the RPMs, which are very, very important when it comes to front load laundry, are 1200. That's the same as the 55. It's 100 RPMs lower than the, than, the, uh, than the 60 series and 200 lower than the 70 series. 1200 is still pretty fast though, folks. So by going with the 50, you're not really losing a ton, especially going from the 55 to the 50. Um, but let's talk about actually what it doesn't have. That might be an easier way to approach it. The dryer it. does not have a stainless drum. It has what is called a poly something or other, poly something powder coated painted drum. How's that for alliteration? Um, uh, it's not stainless, it is what it is, deal with it. Uh, it doesn't have the bling ring. The bling ring, of course, is the chrome trim over here. It has actually a white trim around it, for those who care, no functionality. It's all about aesthetics. The most important thing to focus on probably is this perfect balance system, the second floor guarantee, because Electrolux does trump that a lot in their marketing, and I think people need to understand what this is about, because it truly does set itself apart from the rest of the laundry world. Um, by this second floor guarantee, which is due to their perfect balance system, it's basically a software system that they've installed um, inside the, uh, the washers. And what this thing does is it's actually able to detect uh, the movements of the washer and make adjustments as needed. Now, the way it was described to me is that um, there's something called a resonance zone. And a resonance zone is it's a pocket that the machine will hit where it actually will start to shake and vibrate and stuff like that. And from what I understand, the research that I've done is that the competition, once they hit this zone, they don't adjust and get out of it, okay? It's almost like you're flying a plane and you hit that pocket of turbulence and you ramp up, things are starting to shake, you boost, you thrust, you get out of it. What this thing does over here is it detects the resonance zone and then it throttles out and it gets out of it until things calm down. Um, it does that, it's intelligence, it's a beautiful thing, and only they do it. Actually, what they also offer in this, um, in this model, which again goes through the whole line, is a perfect wash system, which has to do with the final wash. Um, most other companies, if not all of them, the final wash is actually water that actually cycles through the, uh, the detergent holder. And so it's using water that has residue of detergent and this and that in there. Okay, not so much of a great thing. What, what Electrolux does is they have water that comes in from the top, okay? And what it does is it washes, it does that final rinse with water that has not been touched by the detergent. So when the stuff comes out, there's no residue of that stuff on there, which could potentially you know, then go on your skin. Da -da -da -da. Um, I just think like the takeaway from all this, that the 50 should not be looked upon as just like bastard stepchild or something like that. The 50 has its place and uh, it needs to be respected and accepted. And I think it actually will do a very good job for some of you folks out there. Now moving to the 55, which we don't need to spend as much time with this because quite frankly, it, most of the things in the 50, the 55 is gonna offer as well. What you are getting with the 55 is you're getting steam. You're getting steam in both the washer and the dryer. Of course, steam in the washer is used to remove stains, whereas steam in the dryer is going to refresh. Um, uh, you are going to get, again, the capacity is the same, but what you are, you're going to get the, the bling ring. Okay, you're going to get the chrome trim on the uh, 55. You're also going to get a color on the 55. You're not just going to get white. You're going to get white or that blue, which is uh, very nice. And then what you're also going to get is um, uh, actually the RPMs are the same. Yeah, they're 1,200. So it's basically you're getting a color, 
you're getting steam and you're getting the bling ring. Uh, one thing about the 50 and the 55, they both use IQ touch. Remember, we don't do wave touch until you go into the 70 series, different animal. Um, uh, what the IQ touches, it allows you to see everything. Everything is visible, okay, which is a good thing. Um, so that's basically it. If there's any questions, of course, you know where to hit me, Jonathan at Curtis.com. I also invite you to, 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 to visit us here in Yonkers if you're in the metropolitan New York area.